Hey everyone, and welcome back to another exciting video on our channel. Today, we're going to be diving into the FBI 10 Most Wanted. Whether you're an expert in this field or just starting out, we've got something for everyone. So sit back, relax, and let's explore the FBI 10 Most Wanted Fugitives together together. 1. Omar Alexander Cardenas Omar Alexander Cardenas is accused of being involved in the murder of a man that took place on August 15, 2019, in an outdoor shopping center located in Silmar, California, right next to Los Angeles. According to reports, he allegedly used a semi-automatic handgun to fire several rounds at the victim, hitting him in the head and causing his death. Cardenas was charged locally with murder on April 3, 2020, and a local arrest warrant was issued in the Superior Court of Los Angeles County. Recently, on September 2, 2021, a federal arrest warrant was issued for Cardenas by the United States District Court, Central District of California, on charges of unlawful flight to avoid prosecution. The FBI is offering a reward of up to $100,000 for information leading to the arrest of Omar Alexander Cardenas. 2. Alexis Flores Alexis Flores is wanted by authorities for his alleged participation in the abduction and murder of a five-year-old girl in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The child was reported missing in late July 2000 and was found dead with signs of strangulation in a nearby apartment in early August of the same year. A cash prize of up to $100,000 is being offered by the FBI as a reward for any leads that directly lead to the arrest of Alexis Flores. 3. Badresh Kumar Chetan by Patel Badresh Kumar Chetan by Patel is being sought for allegedly murdering his wife by repeatedly striking her with an object, while they were both employed at a donut shop in Hanover, Maryland, on April 12, 2015. Following the incident, Patel was charged with first-degree murder, second-degree murder, first-degree assault, second-degree assault, and dangerous weapon with intent to injure. A local arrest warrant was issued by the District Court of Maryland for an Arundel County on April 13, 2015. Additionally, on April 20, 2015, a federal arrest warrant was issued by the United States District Court, District of Maryland, Baltimore, Maryland, after Patel was charged with fleeing unlawfully to avoid prosecution. The FBI is offering a reward of up to $100,000 for information leading to the arrest of Badresh Kumar Chetan by Patel, for Alejandro Rosales Castillo. Alejandro Rosales Castillo is being sought for his alleged role in the slaying of a colleague in Charlotte, North Carolina back in 2016. The victim, a female, had her car discovered at a bus station in Phoenix, Arizona, on August 15 of that year. Two days later, on August 17, 2016, the woman's remains were discovered in a wooded area in Cabras County, North Carolina. The body showed evidence of a gunshot wound to the head. A reward of up to $100,000 is being offered by the FBI for any information that leads directly to the arrest of Alejandro Rosales Castillo. 5. Yulon Adune Archaga Carreas Yulon Adune Archaga Carreas is facing federal charges in the Southern District of New York for conspiracy to commit racketeering, conspiracy to import cocaine, and possession and conspiracy to possess machine guns. As the alleged top figure of MS-13 in Honduras, Archaga Carreas purportedly controlled the criminal operations of MS. 13 in the country and supplied the enterprise in Central America and the United States with firearms, drugs, and cash. Additionally, Archaga Carreas is believed to have facilitated the trafficking of several tons of cocaine from Honduras to the United States, and to have orchestrated and participated in the murders of rival gang members and others connected to MS-13. The case is currently under investigation as part of Joint Task Force Vulcan. The United States government is offering a reward of up to $5 million for information leading to the arrest and or conviction of Yulon Adune Archaga Carreas. Next on the list is Ruja Ignatova. Ruja Ignatova is wanted for her alleged involvement in a large-scale fraud scheme that started around 2014, where she and others are accused of defrauding billions of dollars from investors worldwide. She was the founder of OneCoin Limited, a Bulgaria-based company that marketed a supposed cryptocurrency. Ignatova allegedly made false statements and representations to individuals to encourage investments in OneCoin. She instructed victims to transfer investment funds to OneCoin accounts in order to purchase OneCoin packages, resulting in victims sending wire transfers representing these investments. Throughout the scheme, OneCoin is believed to have defrauded victims out of over $4 billion. 
Ignatova served as OneCoin's top leader through October 2017. She traveled from Sofia, Bulgaria, to Athens, Greece, on October 25, 2017, and may have traveled to other places after that. She may use a German passport to travel to the United Arab Emirates, Bulgaria, Germany, Russia, Greece, and or Eastern Europe. On October 12, 2017, Ignatova was charged in the United States District Court, Southern District of New York, and a federal warrant was issued for her arrest. On February 6, 2018, a superseding indictment was issued charging Ignatova with one count each of conspiracy to commit wire fraud, wire fraud, conspiracy to commit money laundering, conspiracy to commit securities fraud, and securities fraud. The allegations relate to Ignatova's alleged involvement in the fraud scheme. A reward of up to $100,000 is being offered by the FBI for any information that could lead to the arrest of Ruger Ignatova. 7. Arnoldo Jimenez Arnoldo Jimenez is being sought for the alleged murder of his wife on May 12, 2012, the day after their wedding. According to reports, he fatally stabbed her inside his black 2006 Maserati, and then dragged her body into the bathroom tub of her apartment in Burbank, Illinois. Jimenez was charged with first-degree murder by the Circuit Court of Cook County, Illinois, and a state warrant was issued for his arrest on May 15, 2012. A federal arrest warrant was also issued by the United States District Court, Northern District of Illinois, Eastern Division, on May 17, 2012, charging Jimenez with unlawful flight to avoid prosecution. The FBI is offering a reward of up to $100,000 for information leading to the arrest of Arnoldo Jimenez. Michael James Pratt Michael James Pratt and his associates are accused of being involved in a conspiracy to coerce, deceive and force young adult and minor women to engage in commercial sex acts between 2012 and 2019. The conspiracy reportedly involved the operation of a pornography production company and several pornographic websites, such as Girls Do Porn and Girls Do Toys. Through deceptive online advertisements for clothed modeling jobs, Pratt and his co-conspirators allegedly recruited young women from across the United States and Canada, who later found themselves in pornographic productions. Pratt allegedly paid other young women to act as references, and falsely assure victims that their pornographic videos would not be posted online. Victims were allegedly held at the shooting locations until their videos were completed, some were forced to perform sexual acts against their will, and others were sexually assaulted. Pratt's pornography websites reportedly generated more than $17 million in revenue. On November 6, 2019, a federal arrest warrant was issued for Pratt by the United States District Court for the Southern District of California. Jose Rodolfo Villarreal Hernandez Jose Rodolfo Villarreal Hernandez, also known as El Gato, is being sought by law enforcement for his purported role in the interstate stalking and conspiracy to commit murder for hire of a 40. Three year old man on May 22, 2013, in Southlake, Texas. A federal arrest warrant was issued on June 20, 2018, for these charges. Virial Hernandez allegedly maintains a leadership position in the Beltran Labor Drug Trafficking Organization in the San Pedro Garza Garcia region of Nuevo Leon, Mexico. Rafael Caro Quintero Rafael Caro Quintero is sought for his alleged participation in the abduction and killing of a Drug Enforcement Administration special agent in 1985 in Mexico. Besides, Caro Quintero purportedly holds a significant leadership role in directing the operations of the Sinaloa cartel, and the Caro Quintero drug trafficking organization in Badaraguato, Sinaloa, Mexico. In conclusion, the cases of these wanted fugitives serve as a reminder of the importance of justice, and the need for individuals to be held accountable for their actions. It is crucial that law enforcement agencies work diligently to bring these individuals to justice, not only for the victims and their families but also to uphold the integrity of the justice system. We can all play a role in helping to bring these fugitives to justice by remaining vigilant and reporting any information we may have to the authorities. Let us continue to work together to ensure that justice is served for all. Let us know in the comments section below if you are already familiar with the subject discussed. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content.